This talk is about Java EE, specifically Servlets 3.0 and JSP 2.2, how to do modern Java web development. The focus of this tutorial, again, is Servlets 3.0, uh, JSP 2.2, and uh, Java EE6 web profile. We focus on doing servlets and JSP the right way. So servlets and JSP has evolved over the years and we're really just focusing on the the evolved servlet and JSP. So we don't cover for example writing uh, JSP scriptlets because that should be avoided. So we stick to the best practices. We don't cover the things that are, are legacy or, or more or less deprecated. We use a model to approach in this tutorial, so uh, we, we follow those uh, architectural guidelines, which you should do for Java web application. Now, Servlets 3.0 and JSP 2.2 were heavily influenced by frameworks like Spring MVC, Struts, Tiles, WebWork. So there were ideas in these frameworks that made it back into Servlets 3.0 and JSP 2.2. The frameworks often duplicate the same functionality that's now in the core and at times what's in the core is actually better than what's in these frameworks or there's just two ways to do the same thing. We're going to cover the, the way that it's done in the core and the core is Servlets uh, 3.0 and JSP 2.2 Java EE6. Now not to say that those other frameworks don't have value but the focus for this tutorial is really what is in the core and what things you can do with just the core. Learning these would actually later help you with these uh, other frameworks as these other frameworks build on top of servlets and JSP. This tutorial is going to use Eclipse for the Java um, EE IDE and it's going to use Resin for the Java EE6 web application server. You could use any Java EE6 compliant application server the, uh, the source code is going to work the same. You could use uh, any IDE. The reason why we focus on Eclipse is just because it is so pervasive and the tools are free. Resin um, Java EE application server is also open source and there are plugins for Eclipse and it supports the Java EE6 web profile. So that's the application server we're going to use. Now the style of this tutorial is we're not going to list every tag, every configuration of every option. I'm going to show you how the main tags work, the main flow works, if you will, how servlets work, filters, uh, etc. We're not going to basically duplicate what's in the Java docs. We're going to build something real enough that um, it actually kind of works so that we're not going to miss any common or important uh, concepts, or that's the hope anyway. We don't want to build something too real because then it would be hard to sort of tease out the, the uh, you know, where the framework stops and where the domain stops. So we want the domain to be fairly simple. And we're going to do a series of cookbooks based off this same tutorial. So there's going to be cookbooks for things like internationalization, file uploads, uh, working with JDBC, working with JPA, working with CDI, working with servlet filters, and all built on this same tutorial. So the same base application, we're going to keep evolving, um, add these uh, various features, and basically show how to use servlet 3.0 and you know JSP tag files and such. So these are the items that would be in scope for this tutorial. Um, Eclipse WTP, JSP, Unified EL, tag files, etc, etc. Even things like server monitoring, health, JMX, how to do rewrite rules, uh, configuring things uh, with a, a web server, uh, uh, Kirkus, load balancing, WebSockets and long polling, Ajax, JavaScript, anything that's Java web related and you know requires some integration at the servlet and JSP level uh, is going to be covered. Um, eventually. We, we've got of course some things done already and we're going to continue to evolve this. Well, session replication for example using memcached. These things are becoming increasingly important. So out of scope would be for this tutorial anyway uh, is JSF. So we're not going to cover JSF. There's enough people covering JSF. We're really just going to focus on uh, servlets and, and uh, JSPs and core Java EE web profile. 
So uh, things like springs, struts, and seam, net beams, any framework that goes above and beyond uh, the standards, we're not going to cover. We're just going to basically focus on the standards and Java web development things that people run into. Uh, so far we've got uh, these uh, cookbooks written and we have, of course, a lot more planned. Let's just do a really uh, quick walkthrough, talk about what we're going to build in the first four cookbooks. We built this sample bookstore application. It tries to be a fairly complex, complex enough so that we can touch on many different areas, many different problems that you might run into, if you will, um, or, or solutions that you'll run into when you're developing a Java web application. So let's just show what the app is going to look like that you're going to build in the first few tutorials. So we're going to run this on the server. Right click it, you do run as server. I think that went off the, the video screen there. And we've got this little listing. We can sort things ascending or descending. And these are just basically a list of books, title, description, price, publication date. And you can uh, remove a book. So again, we have these sortable headers. So I'll be writing that. Uh, this looks a little better if you stretch it out, but I'm kind of shrinking it down so that it fits on the video. You're going to create a website that has a header and a footer. You're going to uh, be able to do basically a CRUD listing. So war and peace, we'll change that to peace and peace. And you can see it's been changed and you can add a new one. Let's see, uh, Star Wars. And I'll say 1299, 05, 05, and you submit that and you can see what your Star Wars. So uh, a basic CRUD application um, will, you'll add a JDPC support, you'll um, um, add, uh, you'll, you'll work with um, a JSP templating, you'll work with JSTL, so it's, the model for this is really simple. There is a book and there is a book repository and you can add books, update books, list books, list them, um, and sort them with price ascending, descending, and so on and so forth. And then you have various servlets. You have a remove book servlet, a book list servlet, which shows the listing, and an editor servlet, which actually handles uh, editing the books. So this is what the first four tutorials, and then this is nice because then later on, you know, you can do file, you know, it'd be a good platform to do things like a tutorial on file upload or a tutorial on. Java EE security or session replication. So we tried to pick something that was complex enough. Uh, in the first four tutorials, you're also going to set up some JSP pages. And uh, you'll set up a form, a listing, a header, a footer, and then a site template. So that's just a look ahead of what we're going to be doing in the next uh, four cookbooks, which are part of the Java EE6 servlet and JSP tutorial. Okay, well that's where we're going by the time we're done with the fourth cookbook, but let's just show what it's going to look like after the first cookbook. So we try to make these um, in into uh, bite-sized pieces, if you will, so not to uh, overload or intimidate anybody. So by the end of the very first cookbook, you're just going to have one servlet and uh, one repository object, which some people call a DAO object, and a very simple implementation. So you'll have this, you know, five methods here. You have the book object, which is just a POJO, and then you have your plain old Java object, that's what a POJO is, and then you have this book list server. And then by the end of the first one, there's no fancy formatting, um, it's just a very, very simple listing. There you go. It, it's not even hooked up to JDBC yet, so we don't hook it up to JDBC until the fourth. Uh, we just focus on the JSPs and servlets and model two. So the tutorial is such that it's broken up in small pieces, so you should be able to go through each cookbook in about an hour to an hour and a half or faster, depending on uh, what your ramp up time is. It's in uh, bite sized pieces. Hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit.